Because most the capital L love is actually some uncomfortable truths. And I think some people like mistakenly that is like everyone needs to feel comfort. And, you know, that's not that's not capital L love. If it was, we wouldn't all have this uh, sort of period of uh, self-realization where most of it is really uncomfortable truths being seen through and then dissolved and integrated. Once we do, then of course it's like no longer uncomfortable, but the pain is sort of the recognition that we were lying to ourselves and others. That's where the pain lies. And uh, then once we get through that and we pop that or allow that to be seen through or die is where then it's like, oh, you know, a further expansion of our authentic self, which is just love with a capital L. And it's a direct experience of feeling a sense of wholeness and connection to self and others. And that is a very different state than the nature of like comfort um, in terms of like what might come in the nature of like an addictive process or the nature of like some sort of thing that we take us away from the nature of the authentic self. Again, most of the time, the comfort is in the contraction. Yes. Because you get so used to it. Yes. So. Yes, it leads to further contraction uh, always. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, in fact, uh, yeah, this is a, <laughs> a big reason of why like pain and pleasure are actually the same thing. It's just different labels on the different parts of the continuum. Yeah. They sort of like potentiate one over the other. Um, and they precipitate one or the other. And the ability to just accept both and not try to move towards one side or the other. And that's where I would say is like the divine center. And then uh, through that, you get to experience the nature of like all of reality through this experience of wholeness rather than like a contraction of like desiring a specific state or chasing or craving or anything like that is like just a experience whatever is in the present moment and then the more you do the more you acclimate to the nature of that because a lot of these emotions like do are kind of like uh you could say like working out in some ways like you know in the beginning it's like very uncomfortable process for people who haven't worked out uh, and then there's a sense of acclimation of like moving into that uncomfortability and on the other side of that is a very different state um and so if you are more or less uh, resisting any of the nature of those emotions, the more intimate or closer you get to them, actually, the more they sort of like dissolve away. And you can actually experience them from a sense of love, the capital L love, the closer you get. But like the less you practice with it, like the more uncomfortable it's going to be. Uh, it's like, you know. In the beginning of working out, you were doing pull-ups and your hands really hurt, but six weeks later, you don't even have any sort of like Noticing. experience of the same thing. It's not that, it, you know, the sensations aren't still there, but it's like you've essentially shifted the nature of adaptation in the nervous system. And so the ability to move towards these areas of pain is like a lot of us haven't actually had the experience that these emotions are okay to feel. And so he's just constantly running away from them, moving away, which is actually just precipitating more suffering and separation and the need to like figure out how to fix it to the level of the mind, which is, yeah, just impossible. Mm -hmm.